Oh, because someone's asking me if I've experienced transcendental meditation. And by that, do they mean like the, the, the type that's associated with the organization of the same name, or do they mean something else? All right, I'll answer the question anyway. As my mother used to say, he can have fun by himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll answer it on, from both sides. Once, in fact, a friend of mine, Subhananda, we used to go around examining other, uh, the methods of other uh, cults, no, of other religious institutions. <laughs> Just trying to wake you up. All right, but cults also. So anyway, and uh, so once, or those who have been accused of being cults, I say that, you know, I'm just teasing. I hope you understand that. Anyway, so we went to a TM meeting once, Transcendental Meditation. And there, these words are still ringing in my ear when the person got to the explanation of what a mantra was. And they said, a mantra is a meaningless sound of which the effect is known. Okay? And I was like, you know, can you run that by me again? A mantra. And you know, you got people like with pens right now. Mantra is a meaningless sound of which the effect is known. Thank you. <laughs> of course, I'll get to that. I know you meant something else, but just indulge me. So, then, uh, you know, I was thinking, we've heard, you know, man, mantra, manatra, the mind, tra, liberating the mind, is a mind. <laughs> liberating sound vibration and no meaningless sound is going to do that as once i was with my god brother hridayananda maharaj in los angeles and a very famous swami came to visit swami uh why can't i think of his name he visited srila Prabhupada when Prabhupada was sick with the big long beard he was famous in the 60s not maharishi but another swami no, 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 no. Hmm. With an S. I'll think of it. Anyway, he, there were some, a few famous swamis in the 60s, and he was one of the first ones. Maharishi came a little bit later. Uh, no, in America. I don't believe Sai Baba's ever made it to America. Hey, he's, he's a very nice person, actually. Uh, why can't I think of his name? So no one knows who the Swami is on the Lower East Side who visited Srila Prabhupada in the hospital. Uh huh. Why is his name escaping me? Anyway, <coughs> so he came to visit us there and take a tour of the museum. And the museum had exhibits of there were dioramas depicting different slogas uh, from the Bhagavad Gita and uh, Sachidananda Swami Sachidananda thank you <laughs> so he came by with a few of his followers and really he as I say when Prabhupada was almost leaving the world once he came to his hospital room and Prabhupada was very happy to see him uh, and they had some exchange. Anyway, so we took him on a tour of the museum. And there were all these different dioramas depicting Gita slokas and other things. And there was one, this thing is Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahma Gavi Brahmane Gavi Hastini Suni Cheva Svapakecha Pandita Samadarshina. Seeing how a pundit sees everyone equally. The Brahman, the dog, the dog eater, the, you know, it's saying, oh my God. So anyway, we're back in the, head, uh, the reception room, and I was trying to be polite. I said, oh, Swamiji, which exhibit did you like the best? 
And he said, oh, he referred to that one, Pandita Samadarshina. And he said, because I like it showing that he sees God in everyone, right? That the Brahman is God, dog is God, because after all, dog is God spelled backwards. And they went, ah. <laughs> and Hridayananda Maharaj is a wit and known for his sharp genius like intellect. He said, he said, well, we're not interested in any backwards conception of God. <laughs> so, I liked hearing that. Anyway, someone's asking me if I've experienced transcendental meditation and this, you know, which was later told as out-of-body experience. And that, you know, I experienced things like that before coming in connection with Krishna consciousness and learned that they're, they're nothing, that they're, they're just meaningless diversions. But what I would say is that in the presence of actual saints, and going back to the original question, as you become awake in another plane where you have another identity and you become aware of that, and if we'll go to the Greek word uh, for ecstasy, and you may know, you know, ecstasy, it means outside yourself actually. That's the original meaning of ecstatic is like just going beyond yourself so or outside of yourself. That An out-of-body out experience, if you mean like hovering around the room and going, oh my god, you know, that, what's the point? But if by it we mean that we're taken by the grace of a higher realized soul into another domain where we have an identity there and we have a glimpse of that identity and our prospect in that plane. That is an ecstatic prospect and that we've experienced by the grace of our Guru Varga. Okay. Yes. Grabbed by Calvin is asking, was the crucifixion of Christ a humble murder? Was the crucifixion of Christ murder? All right. Srila Guru Maharaj says something very interesting in this regard. And that is that we have a concept in Krishna consciousness called Leela, which, just for the sake of bending everyone's mind a little bit, Guru Maharaj once said as meaningless pastimes. Here, meaningless is so meaningful and delightful uh, because what it means is in the Wildean sense when he said all art is useless, meaning that which is in a higher plane, it doesn't serve any lower purpose here. So, Leela, Leela, means pastimes. Sometimes you'll hear us say, Krishna Leela, the pastimes of Krishna, the sweet absolute. So once in a generous mood, Srila Guru Maharaj is discussing this, what you allude to or mention, the crucifixion. And there, he told it in this way, that sometimes, just as in Krishna Leela, well, preface this by saying, a king, sometimes the king likes to spar. King wants to box or sword fight or do whatever. So who's going to spar with the king? Right? Like Barack Obama is just the president-elect of the United States. I mean, he likes to play basketball. Who does he do that with? His like, close associate, who is a basketball player at a university level. So he can have a good, he wants to play with somebody who's good at it. 